This is a story about reaching for the seemingly impossible, driving ideas to their limits, modern engineering, and a city in Denmark that generates power from wastewater without adding any external organic waste or carbon. Water and wastewater facilities are high energy consumers. Water management consumes about 8% of our global electricity production and represents up to 40% of a local authority's total electricity consumption. Reducing energy consumption is one of the key challenges in creating a sustainable model for water management worldwide. A challenge that Danfoss engineers take seriously. Here in Marcellisborg, Denmark, this wastewater plant has been transformed from being a high energy consumer to an energy provider. In new or existing wastewater plants, energy can be produced from organic waste such as sludge and converted into biogas, which can then be used or sold as electricity and heat or fuel. This is good news, but it's nowhere near enough to actually run a plant. But at Marcellisborg, by increasing overall plant efficiency and reducing energy consumption, with 290 Danfoss VLT Aquadrives in the water supply and wastewater handling system, energy is now available to run the entire water cycle and more with no added carbon. 140 VLT drives are installed on all rotating elements in the wastewater facility and control everything from in and outlet flow, RAS, blowers and mixers to chemical dosing and dewatering equipment. An additional 150 drives control the sewage canalization and water distribution system to achieve these remarkable results. By installing AC drives throughout the entire water cycle, cumulative savings in combination with energy production result in energy neutrality. A typical water management facility uses energy on production, distribution, pumping and treatment. However, using cutting-edge optimization techniques these areas can be highly optimized. And utilizing the wastewater facility's energy production capability, the plant becomes energy efficient and produces more energy than it needs. This is the way to energy neutrality. Today, the Marcellisborg plant produces 40% more electricity than it needs, plus 2.5 gigawatts per year of heat for the district heating system. Together, this represents 192% in energy, which is equivalent to the total energy needs for the drinking water supply and the wastewater treatment in the Marcellisborg catchment area. The Marcellisborg plant has become a power station, a biorefinery, the world's first energy neutral water service company to decouple water from energy. We have moved from being an energy consumer to being an energy provider by reducing energy consumption in the water supply and wastewater facilities and upgrading a wastewater plant to a biorefinery. A plant that produces enough energy to make the entire water management of a city energy neutral without adding additional carbon. On a global scale, this could mean turning 8% energy consumption into zero and turning the local authority's largest electricity consumer down from 40% of total energy consumption to zero. The use of energy-efficient Danfoss VLT Aquadrives can push the limits of what's possible for today's water industry. That's refreshing news for local authority budgets and a potential game-changer for global water management. Danfoss. We know water.